To create a controlling area in SAP s hana we navigate to transaction code OKKP. That's OKKP. And over here you can already see a bunch of controlling areas existing in my system. To create a new one, we click on new entries. First of all, we need to assign a controlling area key, which is alphanumeric and can be up to four characters. Let's say ZABC for instance. We provide a name and we could assign a person responsible, which is a system user. But this is not mandatory. Then you can see over here the first section called Assignment Control, where we control the assignment of company codes to our new controlling area. This is a drop down menu. We can either say that controlling area should be the same as the company code, so this means that we have one controlling area per company code, or we could say cross company code cost accounting, which would enable us to assign multiple company codes to the same controlling area. This is what we will select over here. Please be aware that if we set the cross company code cost accounting, then all the company codes we assign to this controlling area must have the same fiscal year variant and the same chart of accounts assigned to them. Then you can see the currency settings. So first of all, we have the currency type. So the controlling area currency type determines which currency is allowed as controlling area currency and whether the controlling area currency could differ from the currency of the assigned company codes. The recommendation is here to use the currency type 30, which is for the group currency. Let's insert a currency, let's say INR for instance. And if we want to store multiple valuation views in our system, we can even use the currency valuation profile parameter over here. But for now this is fine. Then we have other settings. So our controlling area also has a chart of accounts assigned to it. This is because of the integration between finance and controlling. So you know that cost elements are now created as GL accounts and linked to controlling via the chart of accounts. So let's select one, the one for India, the fiscal year variant, let's say K4. By the way, if you have more questions about fiscal year variants, I will link you one of my other videos in the description. And then quite important, we also got the standard hierarchy of our cost centers. So you know that in the controlling area, we can create our cost centers and cost centers are automatically assigned to a cost center standard hierarchy. If you have more questions about that, I will also link you a video in the description. However, let's here define one. Let's say ZINR. You can see the standard hierarchy does not exist. So should it be created? I will click yes. You can see some more data appeared for the object currency. We can even set here some deviating currencies, but that's fine. Let's just scroll down again. We can include the leading financial statement version if necessary. So this is used to specify general ledger accounts that are both relevant for budget availability control and also for budget reporting. Let's select one. We can even hide the controlling area in our value help if necessary. And then we can maintain some authorization settings. But for now, this is fine. Let's save. And then we go further down to activate components control indicators. Let's click on new entries for the fiscal year 2023, for instance. And then you can activate the components for the controlling area. So cost centers, we will set them to active. We can set the activity types to active. So with setting this indicator, actual primary costs can be assigned directly to the activity type of a cost center. Then we got the order management. So with this, we activate the internal order. The commitment management would control whether commitments are updated for this controlling object. Activity-based costing, which is not used frequently in companies. And then here we can activate projects. This is for the component project system in SAP. Sales orders. So the usage of sales orders in make to production scenarios. Cost objects. If we want to utilize our controlling for real estate management and with commitment update over here means that commitments can be updated for sales orders as well. Then we have here some other indicators, all currencies. So meaning that the transaction currency is considered in all controlling processes. If we deselect this one, then our controlling processes only consider the controlling area currency and the transaction currency is defaulted. We have variances. This indicates whether the system calculates price variances for our primary cost postings by transaction, so by the posting, and post them to the controlling component. So for instance, if we make a wage posting of let's say 3000 INR, and this posting includes a price variance of 50 INR, then the controlling component adopts the amount of the 3000 INR, and the indicator, if it's set, would control that the system calculates and also displays the 50 INR price variance and if it's set to active, 
it would both calculate and post the variance. And if it's set to inactive, it would not calculate or post the variance. Then we got here some alternative authorization hierarchies for cost centers and the same also for profit centers, which are just used for summarizing data. Last but not least, we need to assign our company codes to our new controlling area via this tab over here. Now it gets interesting. I will click on new entries, click on the search help and you see no value is found. This is because right now I do not have any company codes in my system with the same fiscal year variant and the same chart of accounts as my controlling area. So let me now show you another example of another controlling area where company codes are already assigned to so that you can see how it looks like. Let's go back, select another controlling area, go to assign company codes. And here you can see already two company codes have been assigned to my controlling area. Yeah, this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.